Indigo here. Today on Finding California Birds, we're going to be looking at the eBird mobile app. The eBird mobile app is a free app that you can download from Google Play or the Apple Store. When installed onto your Android or Apple device, tablet or phone, it allows you to quickly and easily keep track of all the birds that you see at your house or when you go on walks. While it does not identify the birds for you, it will help you to learn to identify birds because it will show you right away which birds are common in your area and the ones that you're most likely to see. To get started, first you'll want to create a free account at ebird.org. Then you'll need to download the app onto whichever device you're going to take with you when you are birding. Today I'm going to be taking a walk around my neighborhood to show you how easy it is to use the eBird app to keep your bird list organized. So let's go! So I'm getting ready to go on my walk and I want to start my app on the phone. And it comes up right away with the date and the time and you just hit start checklist and you're ready to go. So I haven't even left my driveway yet and I already see a couple doves. So then I go on my app and up at the top it says search for species name and I can type in dove. Sorry I'm doing this one handed so it's a little crazy. It brings up my choices for dove and those are morning doves so I say okay I saw two morning doves and done. And then I start my walk. There's a crow. So I hit species name. And I type in crow. It says American crow. And I hit one. And I keep walking. Bluebird. And there's also a Phoebe. So I'm going to add in two bluebirds and one black Phoebe. on my list um, so I can just tap the little plus sign next to them and it adds them on. Okay, let's say that you see a bird and you know it's um, a particular type of bird, but you don't know exactly what kind. So this happens for me all the time with hummingbirds because I'll have one just like zoom right by my head really fast and I can't see what type of hummingbird it was. And so um, eBird has an option for that. So the birds that come up first are the ones that are most likely to be in your area. This is one of the reasons why it's good to start the app when you start your walk because it'll load the list of the most common birds. And then if the bird has a little half filled circle behind it, then that means that it's uncommon. So it's probably not that, but it might be that. And then if it has a big R next to it, um, that means it's very rare and you're not likely to see that kind of bird there. But the other thing that I started talking about was um, they have categories of birds. So this one, it says hummingbird SP dot, and you can check that one. And that just says, you know, it was a hummingbird, but you don't know what kind it was. Okay, so I'm done with my walk and I've entered in all the birds that I've seen and how many of the different kinds. Um, and so I, up at the top I gotta tell it the location that I'm at. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do the auto selected for now. Um, use this location, whatever it comes up with. 
and then I say stop. Sorry, it's hard to do this one handed on my phone. <laughs> so I'm going to stop the track. I'm done burning. And then there's just a couple little things that you have to fill in, but it's, it's really easy. Since I started the app before I started my walk, it actually kept track of how long I was walking and how far I walked, which is really nice. The number of observers, um, usually it's two because I'm usually out with my partner, but um, today it's just one. Are you submitting a complete checklist of the birds you're able to identify? Um, you say yes, unless you are just entering it because you saw something really cool and you wanted to get it on your list. Um, but I was out and I was actively birding, so I did all the birds that I was able to identify, I, so I say yes. And then it tells me how many species I saw. So on this little walk around my neighborhood, I saw 20 species. Now, you might not know the birds that well, um, so you might not be able to identify 20 species yet, but um, I would say if you, even if you just do one or two birds that you've learned, just start with one or two at a time, and you can add them um, as you go along, and you'll get better and better and better as you learn them. Okay, so that's it. So I submit it. And that's all there is to it. So do you find yourself inspired now to use the eBird mobile app? If so, tell me about it in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. Thank you for watching.